Chapter 9 A Process Capability and Statistical Quality Control Process Variation Process Capability Process Control Procedures Variable Data Attribute Data Acceptance Sampling Operating Characteristic Curve Basic Causes of Variation Assignable causes are factors that can be clearly identified and possibly managed. Common causes are inherent to the production process. In order to reduce variation due to common causes, the process must be changed. Key, determining which is which. Types of control charts. Attribute, go or no-go information. Defectives refers to the acceptability of product across a range of characteristics. P-chart application. Variable, continuous. Usually measured by the mean and the standard deviation. X-bar and R-chart applications, types of statistical quality control. Process. Process. Acceptance. Acceptance. Control. Control. Sampling. Sampling. Variables. Variables. Attributes. Attributes. Variables. Variables. Attributes. Attributes. Charts. 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 Excellent review in Exhibit TN 8.5. Statistical Process Control, SPC. Charts. UCL. LCL. Samples over time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Normal behavior. Look for trends. UCL. LCL. Samples over time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Possible problem. Investigate. Excellent review in Exhibit TN 8.5. UCL. LCL. Samples over time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Possible problem. Investigate. Control limits. We establish the upper control limits, UCL, and the lower control limits, LCL, with plus or minus three standard deviations. Based on this we can expect 99.7% of our sample observations to fall within these limits. X. LCL. UCL. 99.7%. Example of constructing a p-chart, required data. Sample. Sample size. Number of defectives. Statistical process control formulas. Attribute measurements. P-chart. Given. Compute control limits. Example of constructing a p-chart. Step 1. 1. Calculate the sample proportions. P. These are what can be plotted on the p-chart, for each sample. Example of constructing a p-chart, steps 2 and 3. 2. Calculate the average of the sample proportions. 3. Calculate the standard deviation of the sample proportion. Example of constructing a p-chart, step 4. 4. Calculate the control limits. UCL equals 0.0930. LCL equals minus 0 0.01970. 0. Example of constructing a p-chart. Step 5. 5. Plot the individual sample proportions, the average of the proportions, and the control limits. Our chart type of variables control chart shows sample ranges over time. Interval or ratio scaled numerical data shows sample ranges over time. Difference between smallest and largest values in inspection sample. Monitors variability in process. Example, weigh samples of coffee and compute ranges of samples, plot. Our chart control limits from table, function of sample size. Sample range in sample I. Hash samples, our chart example. Your manager of a 500-room hotel. Do you want to analyze the time it takes to deliver luggage to the room? For seven days, you collect data on five deliveries per day. Is the process in control? Our chart hotel data sample day delivery time mean range. 
7.30 Sample mean equals R chart hotel data sample day delivery time mean range 17.304.206.10.3.455.5.5.5.325 Largest Smallest 7.30 to 3.45 Sample range equals R chart hotel data sample day delivery time mean range 17.304.206.10.3.455.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.
Steps 3 and 4 Example of X-bar in R charts, Steps 3 and 4 Calculate X-bar chart and plot values Example of X-bar in R charts, Steps 5 and 6 Calculate R chart and plot values Solution Example of X-bar in R charts 1. Is the process in control? 2. If not, what could be the cause for the process being out of control? Process capability Process limits, actual capabilities of process based on historical data Tolerance limits, what process design calls for, desired performance of process Process capability how do the limits relate to one another? You want, tolerance range greater than process range 1. Make bigger 2. Make smaller Two methods of accomplishing this Implies having greater control over process Thorn good Bad idea Process capability measurement CP index equals tolerance range, process range What values would you like for CP? Thorn larger CP indicates a more reliable and predictable process Less variability. The CP index is based on the assumption that the process mean is centered at the midpoint of the tolerance range. LTL UTL While the CP index provides useful information on process variability, it does not give information on the process average relative to the tolerance limits. Note LTL UTL CPK index equals process mean, unknown but can be estimated Refers to the LTL Refers to the UTL Equals process mean, unknown but can be estimated With a grand mean As equals standard deviation, unknown but can be Estimated with the average range Together these process capability indices show how well parts being produced conform to design specifications. Since CP and CPK are different we can conclude that the process is not centered, however the CP index tells us that the process variability is very low. LTL UTL An example of the use of process capability indices the design specifications for a machine slot is 0.5 plus minus 0.003 inches. Samples have been taken and the process mean is estimated to be 0.501. A process standard deviation is estimated to be 0.001. What can you say about the capability of this process to produce this dimension? Process capability machine slot, inches, 0.497 inches 0.503 inches. LTL 0.503 inches UTL equals 0.001 inches Process mean 0.501 inches Sampling distributions, the central limit theorem Regardless of the underlying distribution, if the sample is large enough, greater than 30 the distribution of sample means will be normally distributed around the population mean with a standard deviation of Computing process capability indexes using control chart data Recall the following info from our in-class exercise Since the 2 is calculated on the assumption of 3 sigma limits From the central limit theorem So Therefore Suppose the design specs for the gluing process were 10 7. Suppose the design specs for the gluing process were 10.7.2. Calculate the CP and CPK indexes. Answer. Note, multiplying each component of the CPK calculation by 3 yields a Z value. You can use this to predict the percent of items outside the tolerance limits. From Appendix E we would expect. 0 0.008 plus 0 0.036 equals 0 0.044 or 4.4 percent. Non-conforming product from this process. 0.7923 equals 2.38. 0.5973 equals 1.79. 0 0.008 or 8 percent of the curve. 0 0.036 or 3.6 percent of the curve.
Capability Index, in class exercise. You are a manufacturer of equipment. A drive shaft is purchased from a supplier close by. The blueprint for the shaft specs indicate a tolerance of 5.5 inches plus minus 0.003 inches. Your supplier is reporting a mean of 5.501 inches and a standard deviation of 0.0015 inches. What is the CPK index for the supplier's process? Your engineering department is sent to the supplier's site to help improve the capability on the shaft machining process. The result is that the process is now centered and the CP index is now 0.75. On a percentage basis, what is the improvement on the percentage of shafts which will be unusable, outside the tolerance limits? To answer this question we must determine the percentage of defective shafts before and after the intervention from our engineering department. Before from table from table 0.004.089 total percent outside. 3x.88 equals 2.67s. 3x.444 equals 1.33s. Total percent outside. Tolerance equals 0.089 plus 0.004 equals 0.093 or 9.3 percent. Minus 4. After. Since the process is centered in CPK equals CP, CP equals UTL LTL, 6s, so the tolerance limits are 0.75x 6s equals 4.5s apart each 2.25s from the mean. From table, 0.012, 2.25s, 2.25s. So percent outside of tolerance equals 0.0122 equals 0.024 or 2.4 percent minus 4 so the percentage decrease in defective parts is 1 2 4 9.3 equals 74 percent basic forms of statistical sampling for quality control Sampling to accept or reject the immediate lot of product at hand, acceptance sampling. Sampling to determine if the process is within acceptable limits, statistical process control. Acceptance sampling purposes advantages determine quality level. Ensure quality is within predetermined level. Advantages Economy Less handling damage Fewer inspectors Upgrading of the inspection job. Applicability to destructive testing. Entire lot rejection, motivation for improvement. Acceptance sampling disadvantages. Risks of accepting bad lots and rejecting good lots. Added planning and documentation. Sample provides less information than 100% inspection. No information is obtained on the process. Just sorting good parts from bad parts.